Good day, everyone. Our case study is neglect of duty of a particular teacher in a class outdoor activity. I am Nerisa Fogoso, and with me in this case study is Ruth Gomez and Ren Angfen. The case we are presenting today is between the School of Holy Spirit versus Corazon Taguin. The issue occurred in 1990 and was elevated all the way to the Supreme Court. In this case, the school was a petitioner with the plea to set aside a ruling by the Court of Appeals that was passed 14 years after the event took place. The respondent in this case is Corazon P. Tagrin. She was a teacher at the School of the Holy Spirit at that time. Teacher Tagrin's request to the Supreme Court is that it will honor the decision made by the Court of Appeals and approve that she should be reinstated as a teacher and be fully paid in back wages in addition to damages and the attorney's fees. I will now be sharing the facts about the case. Corazon P. Tagiyam was the class advisor of grade 5 Esmeralda at School of the Holy Spirit, Quezon City. On March 10, 2000, the grade 5 class president wrote a letter to the principal to hold a year-end celebration at the school grounds. The principal authorized the activity and allowed the pupils to use the swimming pool. Corazon distributed the parents' guardians' permit forms to the pupils. And before starting the activity, um, Corazon noticed that Chiara May's Federico's permit was unsigned. Nevertheless, she concluded that Chiara May was allowed by her mother to join the activity since her mother personally brought her to the school with her packed lunch and swimsuit. Two pupils sneaked out and Corazon went after them to verify where they are going. While Corazon was away, Chiara May drowned and when Corazon returned, the maintenance man was already administering cardiopulmonary resuscitation. She was still alive when Corazon rushed her to General Malvar Hospital where she was pronounced dead on arrival. On May 23, 2000, petitioners issued a notice of administrative charge to respondent for alleged gross negligence and required her to submit her written explanation. Thereafter, Petitioners conducted a clarif clarificatory hearing, which respondent attended. Respondent also submitted her affidavit of explanation. On July 31, 2000, Corazon was dismissed on the ground of gross negligence, resulting to loss of trust and confidence. Tiara May's parents filed a $7 million damage suit against the school and to Corazon. Tiara May's parents also filed against Corazon a criminal complaint for reckless imprudence resulting to homicide. Corazon again filed a petition for Sandiorari before the Court of Appeals, which ruled in her favor. The School of Holy Spirit, the petitioner contends to the decision of the Court of Appeals. And so the petitioner's petition was granted. Now, let's proceed to the issue, decision, and the rule of law of this case. The issue which says, is Corazon's dismissal on the ground of gross negligence resulting to loss of trust and confidence was valid? 
the Supreme Court affirms that the dismissal of Corazon was valid and legal. It was stated that the respondent was culpable for gross negligence resulting to loss of trust and confidence. Her dismissal was valid and legal. It was the error of the Court of Appeals to reverse and set aside the resolution of the NLRC. So the, the petitioner's petition was granted. The assailed decision dated June 7, 2004 of the Court of Appeals in CAGRSP number 81480 is set aside. This resolution dated September 20, 2002 of the National Labor Relations Commission in NLRC NCRCA number 031627-02 is reinstated. In the rule of law, under the Article 282 of the Labor Code, it says that gross and habitual neglect of duties is a valid ground for an employer to terminate an employee. Gross negligence implies a want of absence of, or a failure to exercise slight care or diligence or entire absence of care. Habitual implies repeated failure to perform one's duties for a period of time depending upon the circumstances. So in this case, records leads that the teacher Corazon, the respondent, had been grossly negligent. First, she knows that uh, Shara May's permit was unsigned, yet she allowed her to join the activity because she assumed that Shara May's mother well, has allowed her to join it by personally bringing her to the school with her packed lunch and swimsuit. Secondly, it is Teacher Corazon's duty as the advisor to supervise the class, so she should have coordinated with the school to ensure proper safeguards. Though the action is not habitual, the case was the same with the Philippine Airlines versus NLRC and Fentes versus NLRC. So the PAL cannot be compelled to continue with the employment of the person admittedly guilty of gross negligence in the performance of his duties, though it was his first offense. For our integration of faith, values, and learning, in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 it says, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. So we should be busy. Uh, busy for what? Busy in doing good that our hands finds to do. We should live this life to the full in the presence of God feeling every minute here on earth with meaningful activity. We are meant to work and take responsibility for what is given to us, to steward. We teachers are steward of our pupils, our students, so we should always make sure their safety. Though there are things that we cannot control, but we should always pray to God and leave everything into God's hand. In Patriarchs and Prophets, page 158, it says, Every act of life, however small, has its bearing for good or for evil. Faithfulness or neglect in what are apparently the smallest duties may open the door for life's richest blessing or its greatest calamities. It is little things that test the character. It is the unpretending acts of daily self-denial performed with a cheerful, willing heart that God smiles upon. We are not to live for ourselves, but for others. And it is only by self-forgetfulness, by cherishing a loving, helpful spirit that we can make our life a blessing. The little attentions, the small, simple courtesies go far to make up the sum of life's happiness, and the neglect of this constitutes no small share of human wretchedness. Thank you for listening. God bless.